This oscillator circuit is being powered by my lead plate alum cell, the cell phone type you might have seen. And um, it's really very interesting, but not because it's an exciter. But I'll explain that <laughs> explain that shortly. I'll show you what it does. Um, here's a small fluorescent, lights up nicely enough. And you've got a 13 watt bulb. And that comes on okay. The wireless field. Oh yeah, see now, it even comes off the battery there, and the wiring, well not too bad at all. Oh and I've got a conical bulking oscillator here, which is flashing away, yeah, there's the underneath of it, but that comes on full on bright there when it's near to the tower. So it does the oscillator stuff quite nicely from about 1.5 volts on this alum cell here. Now why it's also very special is because this is the circuit and a guy called Ciro in Italy sent this circuit over and apparently he dreamed it. He hasn't made an oscillator circuit yet, he's just interested in renewable energies and in spirit contact in ghosts. Now this came to him in a dream and his grandfather said this is how to communicate with him. Now it might sound very strange indeed but I thought wait, wait a minute, let's see now. Let's build it. So there's my version of the circuit. We've got the same uh, two capacitors there. We've got the variable capacitor that connects to the uh, collector of the transistor, which in this case is a D471. And I've used a diode and an LED as indicators and to uh, protect the transistor itself. The top resistor is 23K and the bottom one is a 1 meg. So the circuit runs like that. And I've called it uh, Ciro's Acoustic Transformer or the CAT Exciter. So, the thing was, I was testing last night and I sent Ciro a short video. And in the background, there's more like shortwave noise instead of the usual rumblings you get when you excite a circuit. You know, when it uh, gets in the way of the microphone of the camera. I thought this was very strange indeed, but there we are. His circuit that he dreamed actually does work. I'll show it running on the 3.7 volt battery that I sent to him last night with that strange sort of sound in the background. And here we are with a 3.7 volt old lithium ion. That light's now on quite bright. Here's the fluorescent. And there we are, lit up. It's quite a good range as well. So it's a bit of a winner of a circuit. It would need a heat sink on the transistor to run at the 9 volts, but uh, there we are, lighting the fluorescent and your grandfather's circuit.